Hi Sanjida, welcome again to DC. It's so nice to meet you. Hi. Okay. Thanks for having me. Thank you so much. Um so um quickly congratulations on your big blockbuster hit. Uh we we love watching Jawani, we love watching you all of Azad's girl and Azad. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Okay, quickly jumping into the questions we have for you. Um congratulations on the blockbuster and the performance in Jawan. Um how did you land the role of Helena the hacker? Um it actually happened out of the blue out of absolutely nowhere. Uh before Jawan I had only done a few ad films and um uh, a Netflix show. Um and then once that Netflix show which was called Feels Like Ishq it released in July 2021 and then August I got uh the audition for Jawan. And when I auditioned for it I had no idea that it's for you know red chilies who the co-actors are going to be i was just told that it's going to be a film and uh, this was my first audition for a film so i just did my thing at the audition and left it and i forgot about it you know like i didn't even and i don't like to put pressure on myself so i just did my best and i uh, came back to delhi i was still doing primarily a lot more music and uh, at the time i was very you could say an ignorant person uh when it came to this industry because um i didn't even know who the biggest casting directors were that being mukesh chhabra so i didn't know anything about the industry i didn't even know who priya mani was <laughs> and uh, you know i didn't know who my co-actors were and when i got the role i was just like pero tale zameen ke sakna i say you know when i was told that it's <laughs> that it's um, a movie with sharuk sir i was like what you know like is this real life is does this happen to anyone like what's going on you know and uh, then of course i uh, understood that you know mukesh sharma sir is actually the biggest most most well known casting director in the industry priya mani is an incredible actor who's been around for the last 20 more than 20 years national award winning actor my and okay and freaking sharuk khan is the <laughs> lead of and nayan tara ma'am and 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 deepika padukone i was just like i couldn't believe what was going on so how did i land this role you tell me i don't know <laughs> <laughs> i uh in in many ways i feel like some things are like predestined you know you work towards things all your life and you never know what the process is going to lead you to uh all my life i have done music and i have done and i have danced uh kathak maybe um just my um just my me being free in front of the camera perhaps me uh uh you know the way i express myself perhaps those things were seen and appreciated and i got something you know that life changing <laughs> <laughs> and we loved it so that's great thank you fabulous okay thank you so much. you're welcome <laughs> um how has your journey been as an actor from feels like ishq to jawan incredible incredible feels like ishq was uh, a four day shoot in um in bombay and it was my very first long form acting uh stint uh before that i had only done ad films and um i mean obviously netflix ka naam juda hua tha mm. with uh feels like ish so for me it was a huge deal and uh, you know for feels like ish i was portraying the role of a queer person i also had to learn how to ride a scooty and at the time i didn't even know how to ride a bicycle so it was a, it was for me it was my new it was a new thing that i was just discovering right acting you know it which was never a uh, thing in my books it, it was never on my radar so i was just having a lot of fun you know uh, learning new uh, uh, you know tricks and uh, where to look when the camera is uh, facing you all of that and i was a protagonist for for feels like ish then onwards i um, you know once i finished shooting i did many more ad films and then jawan came and the journey has just been very organic i would say very uh, like a domino effect um, one after the other the universe decided that you know uh, discover more discover more learn more and for me every day on set is like being in a classroom because i observationally learn uh, from my peers and also 
you know, I have just been blessed to, you know, have the opportunity to work with such iconic people uh, from Javan to Broken News and Adbhut and everything else. It's, it's just been great. Fabulous. Okay. Um, so since we were talking about Feels Like Ish, what prompted you to go yeah. on for uh, LGBTQ character at the very start of your career? And what's your take um, on the recent SE judgment on the same-sex marriage? Oh, what is the judgment? I'm so sorry. Can you tell me what the judgment is? It's in favor. It's in favor. Well, that's awesome. Uh, I was confused. Like, I knew it was, but I, I wasn't 100% sure. So thanks for clarifying that. Sure. That's amazing because I feel like you should be allowed to love who you love. Um, this is a feeling that shouldn't and can't be defined on a document, on a piece of paper. It is nobody's business. No one's business. Not even your parents um, or your friends uh, who you decide and choose to love. It's um, as cliche as it sounds, love is love. And this 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 part of your life is something that should be 100% your choice. So um, I'm glad that the government recognizes that and has uh, granted the right which was obviously already your right, but just now it's on paper. <laughs> um, and um, why did I choose to do this role? I didn't think of it as, oh, uh, I'm going to do, uh, you know, a, a role which is, you know, like an LGBTQ character. I didn't even think of it. I, for me, it was just a character. Um, Muskan, the, the, the person felt uh, very close to my heart. She, um, you know, it was someone who is, is obviously in the closet still, is unable to express her emotions fully, uh, is hardworking, but is also not having such a great time with her boss. I just felt like her character was so relatable. The fact that she was bisexual or not didn't really matter to yeah. me. I just did it because it felt right. And uh, I'm glad I did it because uh, I got a lot of love from the community. Uh, I'm a very, very strong ally of the community and uh, I will continue to be that. Fabulous. That sounds really good. Um, okay. <laughs> so you don't multiple hats, actor, singer, songwriter, composer. Which one of these do you enjoy the most? I enjoy all of them. I mean, uh, each of these is uh, makes me who I am, right? Um, and I've worked towards uh, at least music and, and dance pretty much all my life, uh, since I was five till, I, till now, uh, I guess. And then acting has come to me much, much later in life, like three years ago. So acting is a newfound love. Um, I really enjoy it because it's novel to me. Uh, I hope a day never comes where I am tired of it. I don't think that will happen because when you love what you do, um, it doesn't feel like calm. It doesn't feel like work. Uh, and I, I know that's a privilege to be able to say that. Uh, and I don't take that for granted. I'm really, really blessed. And I, uh, I, I'm so happy that doing what I love also uh, brings me money, <laughs> which is a necessity, <laughs> unfortunately. Uh, but great. Like, I, I enjoy all of them. I can't choose. Fair enough. I mean, the ideal case scenario would be something like Jawan, right? Where I'm acting and I'm singing and writing for it. So yeah. That's it's ideal. all in one. It's perfect. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> awesome. So how did Miss Chica's The Spanish Song in Jawan happen? Um, okay. Short story long. I'm going <laughs> to I'm gonna elaborate on how that happened. Uh, basically, uh, we used to all have dinners together. Um, the directorial team, uh, us six girls and, you know, Shah Rukh Sir and uh, everybody. So one night, um, all of us were there and Shah Rukh Sir's manager, Pooja, Pooja told him that, you know, Sanjita also sings. She's a singer, actually. And he's like, oh, okay, that's that's awesome. I was like, yeah. <laughs> okay. And the next day, <laughs> the next day uh, after, you know, after shoot, during dinner, he suddenly, out of nowhere, brings out a guitar and a mic. And he's like, hey, so you are a singer, right? Why don't you sing for all of us? Here's your instrument. Wow. 
and uh, i you know i didn't know at first of all i just thought it was very very thoughtful of him to even remember something like this and to get the whole instrument and ask me to sing was a bit you know putting me on the spot but uh, it was my shot right that was that was my time to like really do something which might impress them so in my head i was like what can i possibly sing that they have not already heard you know because they have heard all kinds of music from all over the world from the best people live perhaps so i thought well i'm just going to sing them my song that's the only thing they have not probably heard oh, so <laughs> yeah <laughs> exclusive preview no so <laughs> it was a song called pensar te which is a spanish song that i had written and uh, i sang it for everyone and they were really really appreciative of it uh, at least so came up to me and said something which i'll never forget he said the goddess is in your voice helena <laughs> and i was floored and obviously extremely humbled and um i just said you know so i'll never forget this moment and he said do you think you will sing for our film and i was like do i think <laughs> excuse me <laughs> will you if you ask me now i'm going to write the song now like say the word and i'll do it please um and that day i think uh, that thought stuck in his head but then i forgot that you know forgot about it and uh, it was also like the we had been shooting for 2 years so i thought even he forgot you know what happened and everything i don't think he'd remember and now it was august 2023 august 2023 a month you know to the release and i was like ha huh, this is not going to happen you know um <clears throat> and then one day i get a call from ashley so and he's like helena so you remember you said that you were sing for the movie uh, i'm sending you the song uh, will you write something in spanish and sing it uh, anirudh will contact you and i was like what <laughs> and i was like okay okay let's do this I ran home I had the composition from Anirudh I wrote the words in like half an hour in like adrenaline rush I was like <laughs> I was like Spanish give me any language I'm going to freaking open a dictionary and do it <laughs> give me any language I just did it and I within a day the song was ready I uh sang it I recorded it and it was done so yeah just a month before the release of the film this happened and wow. that's short story long <laughs> it's a beautiful song beautiful thank you so much how was the experience of sharing a screen space with sharukh khan writing lyrics and singing for anirudh ravi chandran and acting under atli's direction see i'll start with atli sir um i think i first of all i owe definitely owe miss shikas to him um he it was his idea to have helena sing <laughs> for for the for the film and if he had not liked what he had heard that day it would never have happened and he kept his promise you know that's i mean that's amazing also he is not much older than all of us so it was very easy to just be around him uh he's he's like a it's like an elder brother that kind of vibe and very friendly um you know he's delivered hits after hits but there is no air about him at all he just he just is and he does his thing and uh, on jawan i just knew to blindly trust his vision you know uh, because it's a particular very stylized vision um and now that i watched what he did uh, man it's it's incredible i don't think i've ever felt or looked that good <laughs> on a screen he really brought out the best in each and every character not just mine and the fact that it was such a huge ensemble cast yet uh everyone got like every character got justice on screen i felt yeah um and to be able to execute that is incredible and also he has he's such a visionary because he knows what the audience wants but more than that he he knows what they need to hear and what they need to be uh, uh you know maybe maybe asked to do and 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 to deliver such powerful social messages yeah. uh, in a film you need to be fearless 
you need to be headstrong and you also need to be tactical because you can't be too direct yeah. for obvious reasons so i think he just smashed it so at least sir like hats off um anirudh such a sweetheart unfortunately i only got to meet him once at uh, the chennai the, the, the launch uh, yeah. where you know we all went for the launch of the film um that's the only time i met him but again such a sweetie and uh, you know when when i when i sang the song and sent it to him he's like macha you killed it da <laughs> and i was like oh ani you are <laughs> you are classic chennai boy <laughs> um and i was like thank you you know i to hear it from him that felt so so good and he's like just make the song your own do whatever you want with it uh, it sounds great and um you know that that also humbles you because you know it's it's ani saying that and when i met him again no air no uh, you know always like head on his shoulders feet on the ground that kind of people and i have to say that is you know one step even further for sharuk sir <laughs> because <laughs> he's lovely because i he's lovely he's not i mean he's so easy to talk to he's just so easy to talk to um for me it was extra easy also because i felt like um i don't know like i i grew up watching bollywood but not that much bollywood um so i was never like oh am i ever going to see this person or that person uh, so when i met him i met him like with all my respect and i knew that he's an icon but i didn't know him as a person right slowly as i got to know him as a person i realized why he is loved so much um and that's only because apart from being a, a really good actor he is also an incredible human being i think that's what's so charming and it, and that's what comes through from his interviews from the way he interacts with people not just his fans yeah but the actual people around him and like fr- from the spot dadas to uh, the people behind the camera to the people who are styling him or doing his makeup he is just so generous and kind and people who he doesn't have to be kind to given the fact that he is an icon right uh, he can just throw his weight around wherever he wants but he doesn't do that so that's something i learned from working with these incredible people is that if you are truly successful you're also truly humble you're not faking that yeah, so, yeah. i always say that there are actors and there are non actors and there's shar khan he has his yeah. own category yeah. yeah no we don't give exactly yeah. he's so self aware as a person you know incredible yeah he's beautiful yeah. okay um so you were a part of azad's gang of girls and we loved the bohmi and the chemistry between all of you and um so how's the friendship holding on how's the bond right now tight It's super upset. tight um and i hope it always will be uh, i think we it's it's rare to find uh, you know this kind of chemistry between so many people uh, in one single project yeah. it doesn't usually happen sometimes you know you we could all, we could have all chosen to be in our own bands come to the set do our scenes go back you know no i think we found each other like at, in such capacity where we are like best friends we have a whatsapp group called good to go chief <laughs> and uh, we are constantly updating each other on our lives on our concerts like or or our plays you know recently they all went to kirijas play in december they all came to my concert in uh, bombay so we are all always like pulling each other up and we're each other's hype girls and cheerleaders which is so beautiful it is. and uh, yeah it, it's it's amazing and i'm just so thankful they're like like guardian angels well that's what it is it's beautiful to hear women get together and do things wow absolutely take us through your journey as a musician singer songwriter and what kind of music do you make and what kind of music inspires you so 
as a singer songwriter my journey hasn't been as long as it has been uh, a student of music uh, which i have been since i was 5 years old i started with learning indian classical music from shrimati sunanda sharma ji and simultaneously i was also doing kathak uh, i was learning that from pandit birju maharaj ji so uh, dance and music went hand in hand simultaneously for about 10 11 years um, until i had to choose I, i and i ended up choosing music i went to berkeley college of music uh to you know for my undergraduation and i came back to india in 2016 um i was just playing a lot of shows in different genres with different people around the country until i realized i don't want to just sing covers and other mm-hmm. people's music i need to write my own and to express my own so i started writing and i released my first song uh called i will wait in 2017 mm-hmm. that was my first that was my journey like that's when my journey as a songwriter uh started and since then i've done like um two or three tours of the country since then i've also uh played um uh, you know abroad in uh, south korea and panama um etc and it's it's been great and to be able to do music in that capacity is again uh, a blessing now i'm concentrating uh, a lot more on releasing music than performing so this year i'm just going to keep thar 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 releasing and then hopefully next year um, more concerts coming more live performances and uh, since jawan i think uh, also this new thing of playback not just playback i want i'm open to playback but i also want to write you know uh, so for jawan i wrote and sang mm-hmm. um and then i did playback for a telugu movie called chari 111 and i did a little bit of playback thing for a malayalam movie called yeah and varsham gal kushesham in malayalam malayalam so i really want to uh, you know do more uh, film music as well mm-hmm. and you know of course work uh, with the greats uh, i hope with uh, ar rahman sir uh soon i don't know but let's see let's I see i think so too i think um, manifest you should let it go out of the universe you should totally do that yes. <laughs> okay so just that tell me about broken news how was it working with the the <laughs> jenny balavat how was that and sonali bandre and and so oh, i'm sorry with the shreya pilgaonkar yes i'm sorry i don't get her name right every yes. time how was it no <laughs> all good um amazing amazing like uh, jaydeep sir is like the definition of a you know uh, like a self made actor and i you can when you see him you can tell that he's he's been through he's seen it all i feel like you know and he doesn't care about the shosha of the showbiz he cares more about the acting mm. you know he cares more about the art and um, it it really shines through a uh, he's so genuine but at the same time he is like a i i sometimes compare him to a crab sometimes i compare him to a uh an ice cream today i'm going to compare him to an ice cream because i love ice cream and today i'm going to have one right after this interview so you know this like choco treat bar mm-hmm. you know bahar hard under soft vanilla ice cream yeah. he's like that you know he has a very hardcore interior and you'll think oh unapproachable but actually he's like really funny and very vulnerable and that's what's so so like charming about him and um, sonali bendre ma'am you know like i grew up watching some of her films and to actually be in a room with her was again very much like a you know mind blown kind of a thing but again she's so simple so sweet uh you know she'll check up on you and she's like such a such a sweet human she'll be on her ipad playing cards or playing <laughs> like ch- like like some sudoku kind of thing and with her glasses like that and like it's so cute it's so cute she's such a sweet heart and uh, very easy to talk to again and uh, she's a lovely lovely person she is like very much amina you know mm-hmm. i feel like that is like, the casting was you know chef's kiss Spot on. and uh, shriya shriya is like sunshine you know she is such a lovely human being um she's hilarious um she and i like bonded instantly like i think we just had 
one lunch on the first day of us meeting uh, each other and immediately we were like all our everything our life our trauma our parents our travels <laughs> our food our music everything was on the table immediately you know you know the, those connections which you make and you instantly best friends yeah. it's like yeah. that yeah so yeah again another you know addition to the group of girls that i have made and met because of film um uh, shri as one of them it feels so good to hear this i mean women supporting women always it's such a good thing to see that always always, always. so beautiful okay. to see that. no competition none at all so beautiful you're happy for each other genuinely it's so pretty so lovely yeah. so now here's the fraternity question you're playing a journalist in broken news yeah so do yes. we get to see you anytime playing a journalist in real life in my life i mean if you'll have me yes, you'll have me i'll have a nail it we'd love to have it. you we'd love it please <laughs> no please uh, i i w- i would love to uh, at least at least anchor one show or like report one thing <laughs> in life i'm sure Let that could be arranged <laughs> i'm so sure that could be arranged yeah but how was you know it? when i was little um, mm-hmm. i actually wanted to be well this is not exactly like a journalist i guess but you know one of those travel in like travel people who like go to new places and they're like hi everyone today we are in trivandrum this is coconut water like that a travel show host yeah. I, i travel show host that's not exactly journalism but it's travel yeah, journalism I wanted to, we'll make it a category don't you worry Uh, you can have different name these days they have a name for it travel yeah, influence yeah. so kuch bhi ho sakta hai bilkul ho sakta hai and on that note we hope <laughs> to have you on board soon and um, it was so good to see you i hope we get to see you more in in telugu films as well and more telugu series and oh, films we really hope to get to see you that. yes we i should we hope so we i should we should we should i want to explore more. all all of it all cinema i hope you do it's so good to see you on screen every single time so um with Hi, that Hello. we are going to conclude now thank you so much for your time sajita it's always so lovely to see you you brighten up my day thank you oh that's so sweet thanks pallavi thank thanks you. so much for having thank me thank you so much take care take of care. yourself we'll see you bye bye bye